A Maryland family files a massive medical malpractice lawsuit against a Catonsville nursing home, alleging neglected le neglect led to the death of an 85-year-old grandmother. Derek Valcourt has video. The victim's family says help prove their case. Oh. 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 This video of 85-year-old oh. Esther Gray was taken in August inside this Catonsville Manor Care Rehab Center. Behind the camera, her daughter-in-law, Yvette, who says she started recording as she grew more and more concerned staff was ignoring a woman obviously in pain. Hello. Is there a reason why Ms. Gray's light hasn't been answered yet? Over and over again. It doesn't matter if she's your patient. I've just told you the light's been on an hour. She's in pain. She, she pleads for help. Why can't you help her? Why you got to get somebody. Why can't you just help her? Did you ever get the help you were seeking for her? I tried to, but no one ever came. After almost an hour of video, I just, just left. I didn't want to argue. I just left. 30 hours later, Esther Gray, who lived a long, proud, and happy life, died inside Manor Care. Her grandson and daughter-in-law now filing this medical malpractice lawsuit alleging negligence by the Manor Care staff. Officials with Manor Care say they can't discuss the lawsuit, but say they are reviewing it. They say they are sympathetic to their patients' health care problems and say they have high standards for their employees and the level of care they deliver. It was absolute indifference uh, is the best way to describe it. The people there simply did not give a damn. And I think it's very obvious when you watch the video. Attorney David Ellen filed the suit, which also blames Manor Care for an unexplained fracture in Esther's left arm and for an unexplained dislocated right arm. And though you can hear Esther clearly in the video, medical records for that same time show staff found no sign of pain and say Esther was resting well in bed. She didn't deserve what happened to her. The State Department of Health has investigated the family's complaints, but say they could not prove any of their concerns. Derek Valcourt, WJC Eyewitness News.